All right, guys, good afternoon. I am going to help you uh, with some of the problems on page uh, 49. This is page 49. Okay, I asked uh, for you to try 1 through 9. Okay, 1 through 9 on your own. And so I'm going to look at number 1 there. And remember, according to our rules, uh, what's the operation? You should ask yourself, okay, what's, what's going on? What's the operation? Uh, it's addition, <coughs> and then are the signs the same? One's positive, one's negative. So by rule, different signs subtract. So we're going to subtract 19 minus 8, which gives me 11. Now, is it a positive 11 or a negative 11? So I'll put in, so which one is it? Well, who is further away from zero? In other words, whose absolute value is uh, more? If you look there, you can tell that negative 19 is 19 places from zero. And 8 is only 8 places. So this guy is further away from zero. So his absolute value is more. So and we, so his the answer has to carry his sign. And so my answer is negative 11. <coughs> Let's try to do a different one. We look at number 2 there. Uh, here we start with uh, not... So, uh, addition but subtraction so with subtraction you can use the strategy uh, that some of you learned in sixth grade as KCC or 27 minus 31 as KCF okay uh, they mean the same thing keep change change uh, keep change flip well they don't mean the same thing but they uh, do the same thing okay Keep change change, keep change flip. So both ways I'm going to keep the 27, change minus to positive, I'm sorry, to plus, the minus to a plus, and then this positive 31 I'm going to change to a negative 31 because it says that you change it. Or if I had it this way, it would still be 27, keep, change the second, uh, the take the operation from subtraction to addition, and then flip the positive 31 to a negative 31. And now you follow the rules of addition. Where the rules of addition say same sign add, different sign subtract. There are different signs, so 31 minus 27. And new group, and that gives me 4. And so it means my answer is 4. Uh, but is it positive or negative? Well, again, who is further away from 0? And you can tell 31 is further away and he has a negative sign, so my answer has to be negative. <coughs> we'll try another one, number three. Okay, again, the operation is subtraction. So we'll put here uh, our strategy. If, it's, if it starts with subtraction, you can always use KCC or KCF. KCC, okay? And so I got KCC there. I'm going to keep, change this to plus, and change this to a positive 72. Uh, remember, uh, the parentheses here are only to make sure you can see the, the difference between this is the operation and this is the negative uh, symbol. So I know they look the same, but this is the operation. In other words, what's happening? And this is just telling you the number here is a negative number. And so now we have this addition. And so by rule, same sign add different sign subtract, or different signs. So then I'm going to subtract 72 minus 58. Okay. I'm going to regroup. And I'm going to get 14. Now is it positive or negative? Well, again, who is further away from zero? The negative 58 or the positive 72. I can tell right away the 72 is uh, further away. So my answer is going to be positive. Okay. <coughs> We're forward. Okay. This one here. Same sign. What do we do? Uh, look at the operation. It's addition. So let me go to the rules that you uh, have in your combination book. Same sign add. Different signs subtract. Well, these are the same sign. Okay, it's not negative times negative, positive. No, 
This is negative plus negative. So in this case, you don't do negative plus negative is positive. No. That's only for multiplication and division. In this case, it's negative plus negative. So you add them together. So 34 plus 22 gives me a 56. And then I got to keep the sign negative because they're both negatives. All right. Uh, let me look at one of the marks at the bottom here, number seven here. Okay. You have three numbers. Don't try to do them all at once. Do two at a time. Like those two. It's, the operation is addition. So think, same sign add, different sign subtract. They're different signs. So subtract them, 71 minus 43. <coughs> this becomes 8, that's 28. Now, is this 28 positive or negative? Who is further away from 0? 71 or the negative 43. I can tell everybody 71 is further away. So that means that my answer is positive here. Now I bring this down, minus 13. And so I see that this, uh, this operation now is subtraction. So now I can use my KCC strategy, which is keep, change, change. And I'll have the same again. The operation is addition again. So I ask myself, same sign add, different sign subtract. There are different signs, so I'm going to subtract. And I get 15. My answer is 15, positive or negative. Who is further away from zero? In other words, whose absolute value is more? And whatever I can tell, the 20 is further away, so that's just uh, positive. Okay. That leaves you four problems. Adios. Good luck. Bye-bye.